Welcome to the second chapter of Beyond the Steel Sky Walksu, and we are inside the Union City. I don't really know what to do for now, but we must find these stalkers, these scavengers. And as I understand, we need to go deeper into the city. Vending machine. Apologies. But it seems your U-chip is running out of date firmware. Oh, I know what to do with it. Let's hack it. Switch this one and now let's Apologies, use it. Apologies, but oh, it come seems on. your U-chip is running out By of date. By the way, firmware. friends, if you can leave a like, it really helps a lot. And let's go inside this. Welcome, what Citizen is Graham. Outdated Monopod? UCHIP firmware detected. Firmware oh, no. must be updated to use Union City facilities. I was about to return to give Ember a piece of my mind when. Transporting you to the nearest safety services. Safety services? Okay, let's go. By the way, I have the objective investigate Graham's connection to the Stalkers. Oh. Isn't it too late? What is that? Oh, the Union City. Beyond the Steel Sky. Like a Star Wars. It's huge, really huge. And my lovely brothers. I'm just enjoying the greatness of this place. And finally, I'm arrived. To security station. Safety service. The stalkers had come into the city. But looking around, that didn't make any sense. This place was a paradise compared to the Union City I'd left all those years ago. Joey had certainly turned the place around. I had to find the stalkers. And whoever he was, Graham was my only lead. I just had to sort out my U-chip problems first. So solve the chip problems and then find the Graham. Wow. Look at that city. I love it. It's so huge. That's where I came from, and I saw... <laughs> no. I saw nothing. Let's go to the safety services. Hello? Good morning, Graham, Grundy. I trust you are well on this fine day. Yes, Actually, I'm fine. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Have you tried Dijon buttercream spankles? It's new. Sounds delightful. That's the spirit. Now, Mr. Grundy, we both know why you're here, don't we? Uh, is I guess there we is do? some secret? Your firmware. It's ridiculously uh, out of date. Let's get you sorted then, shall we? Go of on. Of course, upgrade. Place your hand on the platform. Okay, here goes. Well, that's very strange. More data. What's very strange? What's very strange? You said that's very strange a moment ago. Something about my data. I didn't. You said, what's very strange? I only said it because you said that's very strange. Great. What else can I do for you, Citizen Graham? 
There was something strange about the ID that I had acquired. While she may have lost the plot, I definitely hadn't. Yes, there is definitely something behind this, and I'm starting to suspect this Graham was not just a citizen. There Listen, is big be mystery behind this. this all. I'm here to help. Okay. I'm looking for a child that went missing two days ago. And from which part of the city did this child go missing? He was from outside the city. I can only help you locate citizens. Would you mind scanning my U-chip like you did before? But, Graham, your firmware is up to date. Oh, humor me. Already? Okay. Well, that's very strange. More data! There, you just did it again. Because you asked me to humor you. I mean, you said that's very strange again. I assure you that I have a precise log of this entire conversation, and I said no such thing. It appeared that every time she tried to access my data, the last few seconds of her memory was wiped. Because of the virus that is with? inside my chip. Okay, let's talk looking about... looking for a vehicle. Stalkers. Well, a monopod station can be found at either end of the piazza. Are there any vehicles in the city that have legs? Polite request for disambiguation. By legs, do you mean a vehicle transporting prosthetics, flat-packed furniture, or fried chicken? I mean a vehicle with legs for propulsion. Do you mean a skateboard or scooter? You are no help. I'm here to help. Can you try accessing my... But, citizen... Please act... Well... No, no, what? no. We've done it what? before. It That's seems we Whatever really was blocking my YouTube was disrupting everything. her memory playback. Another item to add to the Graham Grundy mystery list. Yeah, yeah, Graham. Thank you. Was I helpful? No. Yes. Would you no. like to fill out a survey? No. Absolutely not. Okay then. Keep a smile on your face, Graham. Now that I dealt with my U-chip problem, I needed to find out more about my new identity, Graham Grundy. That's for sure. So I need to find. Now that I'd some... resolved my outdated U-chip problem. It was time to look deeper into my alter ego, Graham. I get it, but where is he leaving? Oh. I'd never tell him, but Joey's statue looked magnificent. Actually, I was trying to speak with this robot, but okay. Calling all social so fibers. robot, can you please here. help hey, me? Got a minute? For you, sir, I have all day. What do you do here? My name is Hollow, and it is my pleasure to serve the wonderful people of Union City on this glorious Aspiration Day. Aspiration what are you serving? Day? Well, social climbers can bring their aspiration brooches to me. And then what? I use this machine here to customize the hologram projected on the brooch. Isn't that fun? It's a real parade. What is an aspiration brooch? A special wearable reward to Union City's esteemed social climbers. Courtesy of the Council. Yes, but what do they do? The brooch permits entry to areas around the city, exclusive to social climbers. Such as the old history exhibit in the Museum of New History. Whoa, it museum. also tells your fellow citizens how great at gathering kudos you are. Well, what can you tell well. me about the Council? Nothing that you won't have heard already. However, if you take a look behind my stall, you can catch a great view of the Citadel. The Citadel? Where the Council are based. It can be seen through the skyline right behind me. How can I get my hands on one of these brooches? You didn't receive one in the post? I don't think so. That's because aspiration brooches are only delivered to social climbers. You need an awful lot more kudos to be in with a shot. Maybe next month, eh? Sure. Or year, perhaps. I'll see you later. Okay. I can't wait. So, I need to get this branch. And by the way, I'm a hacker, isn't it? Can I do something? It seems no. <laughs> I walk around a little and actually find that there is nothing to do here. 
then I have a great idea. Let's go back. Let's try to use this train to go home. As pleasant as this place was, I doubted it was going to help me find Milo. No, we will find him. Can I use it? Well, where would you like to go? <laughs> yes, Graham's I home. I knew Graham had some sort of connection to Milo's kidnapping. His my home would be lead. my best, in fact, my only lead. Take me to Graham, my home. Lakeview Apartments. Certainly, Citizen Graham. The city knew a lot more about Graham than I did. That's becoming interesting. As I arrived masquerading as a dead man called Graham, I was apprehensive about what I would find. But I had no choice. I had to find the stalker. And whoever he was, Graham was my only lead. That's the future I like more. I mean the city, because outside the city everything is awful. The seal on the floor showed my buddy Joey just as I remembered him, when I left him in charge all those years ago. And he was a robot, and definitely there will be some mystery around him. And who are you, lady? Hey! Hey, buddy, watch where you're standing! What's your problem? <laughs> your face, for one! Excuse me. <laughs> well, if you hadn't been staring at the floor like a moron, you'd have seen me. I didn't catch your name. I'm your mama! <laughs> oh my god, that girl is just... <clears throat> Do you live here? Not very beautiful. Do I look like I live here? I'm not from around here. Maybe everyone here looks like you. Yeah? And what do I look like? Trouble. Keep walking. Do you know where I can find Joey? Oh, I don't know, weirdo. They say he walked into the gap, or sailed across the sea. Either way, he abandoned us all in this place. You so like he's gone. Needs more color, wouldn't you agree? Do you know a guy called Graham Grundy? Nope. Sounds like a moron. In that case, let me introduce myself. Graham Grundy. Doesn't surprise me. What happened after Joey left? Well, duh. Council runs the city now. I'll leave you to It was some kind of revolution or something Aww, like that. Oh, really? I'll miss you. Yes, I'm just a guess for Very now. busy. Yes, he has hey, gone away, girl. What's your favorite color? Huh? Green one. You heard me. And What's black your favorite one? color? Green? green. Green. Green is not a creative color. Neither Guys, what are your favorite color? Later, Drop me a uh, comment. Backpack. Got nothing. Clearly not everyone in Union City was quite as courteous as they were happy. Oh my god, she was just awful. Completely. Hey, Mr. Drew. The cleaning robot was clearly designed to carry heavy water tanks. Hmm. Pain. Someone had spilt paint on the floor. The picture showed an utterly oh. unfamiliar scene from a bygone era. What a beautiful sight. I often see this place in commercials, and one day I will get here for real. Spray, please. Wait! I know that you, Chip. Oh, really? My. Is it really? Yes, it is. Master Graham, you have returned. How Master? wonderful. Oh, good day, huh? 
I shall inform Madam and her guest that you have arrived. She will be so pleased. No, no, that won't be necessary. She will be overjoyed that you have finally returned to the bosom of the family. My apologies for the interruption, Madam Songbird. It's Master Graham. What about him, Chipworth? It appears he has arrived home, Madam. He has, but that's wonderful. Oh, oh that's impossible. He won't My dear see. husband is back. Ah, I was hoping to meet you, Mr. Grundy. Mental Alonzo, Ministry of Wellbeing. Ministry. I was just here to investigate some irregularities. I'm sure my Graham needs a few moments to freshen up. Why don't I show you my kudos records? I don't know who you are, but right now we're both in a lot of trouble. So for both our sakes, you'd better convince the mentor that you're Graham. Um, yes, of course. I'll stall him. Just don't come through that door until you know enough about Graham to pass yourself off as him. Don't worry. You can count on me. I wasn't sure what I'd walked into. But if I was to convince anyone I was Graham, I needed to find out more about him. His job, his family, his state of mind. The mentor could ask me about anything. Information about Graham was scattered all over the place. All I had to do was look around. Well, it seems that I have to play Graham's role. Let's find out. Who he was, he was someone important. Union City Red. I suspected it was more fruit juice than wine. Hmm, that give me really zero information. At least one person in the city appreciated a nice cup of coffee. Although I doubted Union City Blend contained even an ounce of actual coffee beans. Hmm. Oh, that is important. No. After ten years in the gap, I'd almost forgotten what a toilet looked like. Oh, no. <laughs> there was uh -huh. a blueprint. Curious. And let's not so forget was that somebody killed him. cleaning you. supervisor? The logo on the uniform was quite distinct. I needed to find supervisor. out who it for. If I slipped up, I'd be exposed right away. Oh my god. <laughs> I think he was someone important. Welcome back, Graham. Displaying your health chart now. It has been two weeks since your last checkup. You have lost weight. Congratulations. It has oh, well, been noted that your height you. has increased. Adjusting records accordingly. Scanning for medical implants. Error. Wow. Implant missing. Refreshing biomodification database. Please wait. Removing cardiac implant registration. Registering Schriebman port as new implant. The scanner had detected my Schriebman port, which allowed me to interact with Link, the city's old network. Since then, I'd pretty hmm. much forgotten about it. Adjusting your health rating from C to A+. I was considerably One fitter than Graham. That was good to know. Give me a checkup. Scanning. Your physical health is within the top percentile for a Union citizen. Thanks. Okay. You are welcome, Citizen Graham. What else? Do you have any advice for me? A single can of Spankles contains more than your daily dietary requirements. Look for the clown. Drink Spankles. Keep... Thanks. You are welcome, Citizen Graham. And what devices, devices do I have installed? You possess a U-chip personal data implant in the perlicue of your right hand. It is functioning correctly. Your cardiac regulator implants have been marked as removed. Please return them to your nearest medical waste facility. You possess a Schriebman local interneural connection port in the third cervical vertebrae. Oh this my hardware God. predates the Minos system and cannot be accessed at this terminal. That's probably for the best. You are welcome, Citizen Graham. No, okay. it's all for now. Due to the alteration of your physical parameters, a new uniform has been ordered and will arrive at your home shortly. Keep Perfect. a smile on your face. 
Oh, I was a lot healthier than Graham. in uniform. In fact, I'd say Graham was downright unhealthy. I had made some headway, but I still needed to know about Graham's work and social standing. Shower. Let's Tempting, do it. but I'd already had my monthly bath. Oh, come on. But that's okay. <laughs> He already take a bus <laughs> this month. Rhythmic gymnastics first place. Oh no. Wedding, of course. That looked like Graham and his wife on their wedding day. They look blissfully in love. And what is this crystal Amethyst about? or purple glass? Either way it looked expensive. Maybe you can take it, no? Books? Fairy tales, courtly romances, and art books. A shelf full of sports gear and awards from years gone by. I was hit by the acrid smell of chemicals. Wow, this place looks much more like mine. <laughs> Everything is not in order. The box was for a deluxe hollow plinth replacement lens. There was nothing inside. Uh -huh. A cavalcade of cryptids. Someone believed in monster stories. I we wondered if do. the people knew that Hobart agents had helped me save their city. Posters, posters, medals. An impressive collection of medals, ranging from bravery to long service. Most of the medals dated back to before I was born. And what is that? The sword? The blade was cracked. Developing fluid in trays. I hadn't seen gear like this since I was a child. It looked like one of the land trains from the city walls. It was a detailed model. A security forces that? copter. I still had nightmares about those things. Twice I'd flown in them, and both times they crashed. I hoped I wouldn't have to risk it a third time. Something tells you, telling me that you will have to. Aha. Uh -huh. A uniform like the one Graham's wife wore. It was cut for someone much larger. I needed to find out who he worked for. If I slipped up, I'd be exposed right away. Ministry uniform. Looked like these photos were taken by the city walls. Giant scorpions in the sewers. Real or fake? Of course the real. Unlikely. The tentacle monsters would have eaten them years ago. No, I believe in giant scorpions in the sewers. I wondered if Graham self-medicated. It can't be a lie. When I came to Union City ten years ago, this was very much the case. These days, I wasn't so sure. Anti-Hobart propaganda. Some things never change. Hmm, printer. A printer? It was rare to see one of those. Why is printer is rare? You can tell a lot about a man from his shoes. In this case, that the man had no taste. Espionage during the Hobart Wars. Nice to see the propaganda was still around. How to survive a war. Better just to not be around to see them. And the terminal? Is it usual terminal or not? Connecting to Minos. Welcome to Minos. I couldn't Can access read Graham's my messages. messages. I added that to my list of things to look into. Okay, okay, okay. So it's usual terminal. I already do everything I can with them. Oh, blackout. The blind curtain. blocked out all the light from outside. He was a vampire. He wanted to live in the dark. Empty box. 
The box was for a deluxe hollow plinth replacement lens. There was nothing inside. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Idea scanner. What about this poster? Let's go. No, door is not closed. Ah, the droids who stare at goats. A classic. So again, it's something about the movie. I already searched that, I searched that, hollow, what? The trees in the gap weren't as pretty, but at least they were real. Okay, maybe I should Hello talk there. to you. Chipworth, wasn't it? Master Graham, may I say, sir, is looking even more fabulous than usual today. Why, thank you. Has Master Graham lost weight? Maybe. Does Master Graham look like he's lost weight? Oh, yes, sir. And it would appear sir has gained some height as well. <laughs> Bravo! Tell me, Chipworth, who was that woman just now? But that was sir's wife, Madam Songbird. Yes, of course. So uh, my boy. wife. Is sir quite feeling himself? It's fine. I've just been having a difficult few days. How serendipitous that the well-being mentor is here, then, is it not, sir? I need you to do something for me. Just say the word, sir. Mm. Please, can you do the laundry, Chipworth? The laundry basket is in the bedroom, sir. I wouldn't want to disturb the mentor. Seems sensible. Okay. Chipworth, tell me everything you know about me. Request respectfully decline, sir. But aren't you my butler droid? Yes, sir. I have been Sir's butler for a very long time. Then why can't you tell me? Standing orders, sir. Whose orders? You? Ah, nice try, sir. Almost had me. Graham had made sure his droid wouldn't talk. I had to do my own investigating. Hmm. Tell me about that woman. A woman? Can Sir possibly be referring to his good lady wife? Humor me. For instance, her name would be... Madam Songbird. Clearly, Sir is not feeling quite himself today. Sir might recall he even forgot dear old Chipworth's name earlier. Who? Uh, me, Sir. This mentor, what will he ask me about? The Ministry of Wellbeing is always concerned, sir, with a citizen's well-being. Well-being? That's right, sir. A citizen's health and happiness, their relationships and social life. All of He might also inquire if sir needs any support in the workplace or similar. Why exactly was I selected? I believe sir's two-week-long work, poll and social hiatus may have raised some concerns. Just be yourself, sir, and you will be fine. Of course, because I am Graham Grundy. I need you to do something for me. Just say the word, sir. Please, can you tidy up the apartment, Chipworth? Very good, sir. Excuse me, please. Hmm. Okay, it's almost time for interview. Something told me the fire was not authentic. Whoa. No, no, no. Is there is something here? I think not. Definitely an improvement on the food dispensers they used to have here. This was my only chance to find out about Graham. Leaving now wasn't an option. So this is the exit and this is the way to interview. Okay, let's do it. I think I search everywhere, so it's good time for interview. I knew about Graham's health, but I still needed to find out about his work and social standing. 
Perhaps I'd find more on his personal terminal. I oh. needed to find out more information if I wanted to avoid getting caught out. Okay. Personal terminal. I see it. Yes, right here. What am I missing? Come on, activate. No. The council was made up of five ministries. Each ministry had their own oh. logo and distinctive color scheme. From the color of his uniform, it was clear that Graham worked for the Ministry of Comfort. Ministry I knew quite a comfort. bit about Graham's work and health, but I figured I could learn more if I found his kudos records. A chart showing that Graham's kudos score had recently dropped. I wondered what had caused such a sharp decline. I had learned all I was going to from Graham's apartment. I hoped it would be enough. Now I learn everything. Okay, Mr. Minister. It's time. If I was going to convince the mentor, I had to be sure I knew enough about I Graham. I know enough. Let's go. I couldn't go. keep them waiting any longer. From that point on, I had to be Graham Grundy, cleaning supervisor. That's exactly who I am. Darling, I thought you were going to freshen up. I was, but I missed the sweet sound of your voice. Oh, Graham, always the romantic. But please don't kiss me until you've showered. Oh my Wouldn't god. Wouldn't dream of it. Besides, I couldn't let Alfonso hear. Alonso? Monopolize my lovely wife for a moment longer. In which case, shall we begin? Of course. of course, let's do it. Shall we take a seat in the lounge? I don't it like now this guy. Never. I don't trust him. So, Mr. Grundy. Mentor Alonso, what would you like to know? Ah, oh, well, straight to the point. I like that. As I was explaining to your dear wife earlier, there have been some issues with your activity records of late. Issues? What do you mean? Mr. Grundy, a word to the wise. This will be much smoother if you leave the questions to me. Now, whilst your records load, remind me in which ministry are you employed? Oh, that's easy. Comfort. Comfort I'm a cleaning course. supervisor. Yes, of course. Ah, here we go. Graham Grundy, 42, cleaning supervisor with the Ministry of Comfort. Cleaning supervisors require Class C exertive activity certification. I trust that your health rating is sufficient. My health rating A+. I did drop down a bit, but I'm back to Class A+, plus now. Excellent, excellent. Very good. So, with that in mind, I will mark you as fit for work, barring any other issues. Now, obviously, your kudos level will have fluctuated due to your absence. You're a C plus right now. I note you used to be much higher. Much higher? B plus? B plus. I didn't spot a plus on the record. Must have been my mistake. Well, that is all I need to check off. But I'd be remiss if I didn't offer you all the extra support and guidance that you need. Mentor? When someone goes off grid, there's usually some underlying trouble. And as a mentor, I like to think of myself as a bit of a troubleshooter. Of course. I appreciate the concern. So, let's get to the bottom of all this confusion. Dig a bit deeper, eh? Deeper? Let's do it. Yes, right. By all means, Mentor. Tell me about your workplace. I trust there are no issues. Oh, she's telling me something. Trains. Yeah, yeah. Trains. Land train facility. 
It's a fine place to work. I'm sure it She's is. giving me a Department hint. of land Perfect. trains and extra city commerce. Wonderful. I like oh, it. Yes, more. couldn't be happier. We are, of course, very grateful for your service, Mr. Grundy. But there we come to the crux of the matter. Your absence. Fifteen days is a, a long time. This is, of course, why my ministry has become involved in your case. We have been concerned for your well-being. I'm fine. Better than ever, in fact. <laughs> Excellent. Now, speaking of your health, I note you had some surgery last year. Tell me about your implants. Are they working effectively? Cat got your tongue? What is she showing? Art? You mean my heart regulators? Nothing to worry about. As you can see, the beat goes on. Yes. Well, I must say you're in remarkable shape considering your medical history. It's of course, a time your of mental game. well-being is just as important it's to us. It's like a game. How are you getting guess on what with your showing? <laughs> rather peculiar hobbies? And what is that? Bird watching. Yes, this is mine. Really, my favorite hobby. But. She must be talking about photography. You mean my photography? I do, yes. You can't beat the feeling of an old-time film camera. I can imagine. You have an eye for composition. Although I don't understand your interest in using such archaic technology. <laughs> Choosing to fiddle You'll with knobs rather than availing of ministry-recommended filters, stabilization, automatic archive, and data retrieval. All courtesy of Minos. If we can't see what you create, how can we share in your interests? What can I say? I like a challenge. I'm sure you do, Graham. Ah, oh, well. Did I they have a pass busy it? day of appointments, so sadly we must conclude our little trap there. And it's been a pleasure, Mentor. <laughs> Hasn't Ever it? Ever fine? So with that in mind, perhaps you can tell me where you've been for the last two weeks. No, what? I can't. Right. Yes, where have I been the last two weeks? Well? Okay, so... The last two weeks. I was working at the land train facility, of course. Cleaning. I'm a cleaning supervisor. And while I was cleaning, I must have... Bumped my head. The next thing I knew, I was in the middle of nowhere. Still on the train. Two weeks later, the train returned to the city. Cleaner than it's ever been, I might add. My poor darling! How awful! What a dreadful thing to happen! Oh my god, did he buy that? I believe I have all the answers I need from you. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> I'm sure it is, Mr. Grundy. Well, thank you for stopping by. Uh, j just a teeny tiny thing before I go. There appears to be one or two anomalous results here. Anomalous? What? That doesn't sound good. <laughs> it may be nothing. But here's the thing. I get strange readings when I scan your YouTube. Any idea why? Mm, maybe it got damaged when I fell. Ah, uh, yes. Of course. That's probably it. You see, the only other time I've seen anything like this is when a YouTube has been tampered with. No one would have done that now, would they? Tampered with? I didn't even know that you could do that. Graham's a supervisor, not a subversive mentor. Yes, a supervisor, not a subversive. Damaged when he fell. Request analysis. There, perfect. I have everything I need. Very suspicious Gray. guy. Chipbot will show you out. Chipworth, darling? <laughs> Just my little joke. Chipworth. Good day, Mr. and Mrs. Grundy. I don't know who you are or what you've done with Graham, but I think we got away with that. I hope so. I don't think that we would get away with it a second time. 
Nor do I. If there is anything wrong with Graham's U-chip, you would better sort it out, Sharpish, before Alonzo's analysis comes back. Who even are you? Where's Graham? Are you that contact he kept ranting about? Whatever contact. Graham had been up to, it had gotten him killed. I had to come clean with his wife. There's no easy way to say this, but I'm afraid Graham is dead. What? How? Where? I found him. In the gap. The gap? What was the idiot doing in the gap? Was that where he was always sneaking off to? Ugh. A child, Milo, was abducted from a village out there and brought into Union City. And I think Graham was somehow connected. Sure. And pigs fly. Listen, stranger. I'm sure you can understand this has been a rather harrowing day. This is all too much for me right now. Tell me about it. So, I'm gonna do some damage control on social media. In the meantime, I guess that officially it is your home, so you can stay, but... This is my bedroom, and that one is yours. No cute ideas. Understood. Songbird seemed rattled by the news. Not surprising. But whoever this contact of Graham's was, I suspected they were the key to finding Milo. And I will have to find something about this contact. Hmm. Okay, let's go to that room and explore everything we can. Mama Bear. In Union City, even the teddy bears had screens. This one was broken. Oh no. I poked at it, but I couldn't get it to turn on. It's not working. The shelf was loaded with books on management, business theory, and military strategy. Really, there are so many things. So many things to explore in this flat. A collection of toy animals were lined up in little baskets. One was missing. One is Dave missing? Dave Dingo. Dave Dingo. Such a cute dog. Carl Koala. Carl Koala. Nice. Friends, tell me, which toy do Kevin you love kangaroo. most? Kevin Kangaroo. Kevin Kangaroo. And one is missing. I must lead an investigation. Mystery books. A detective culls. Someone liked their murder mysteries. Was they planning a murder and succeed in it? Jasmine. No, I don't like it. Anything else, really? Climate control. Hey, don't touch that! What have I said about these windows? Keep them closed. No. Sorry, but no. I didn't think Songbird would appreciate me rummaging through her things. But I will. <laughs> I will rummage you. I will rummage through her all things. Okay, let's talk to her. Songbird. Maybe it's Songbird. a good time to talk. I'm sorry. For what? That your husband is dead. Hey, win some, lose some. That's pretty harsh. Look, stranger. You told me your secret, so I'll tell you mine. Last few years, Graham gave up trying to be anything other than the dullard he really was. If it weren't for the kudos for being married, I'd have dumped him months ago. You're new here, so a word of advice? You want to win in Union City? Learn the rules? And play the game. My name's Foster, by the way. Robert Foster. Okay. Songbird. Is there anything more you can tell me about Graham? Not much. He was a loner. His only friends were idiots like him. Hmm. Who's this, this contact you mentioned? Bad news, as far as my kudos level is concerned. What do you mean? Graham was always rambling on about this hacker friend of his. Had a daft name. Leet, I think. 
so hacker lead oh that something interesting any idea where i could find lead probably somewhere up top with the other degenerates if i were you i'd stay away no could graham have had anything to do with kidnapping for both our sakes i hope not what were you saying about kudos were you born yesterday let's just say i'm new here okay newbie Here's how it works in Union City. Be a good example, stay happy, and you get kudos. Which you... spend? Well, kinda, but not really. The higher your kudos level, the lower you are in the city. Simple. So kudos is... bad? Aren't you listening? Lower. Lower is better. Tell me more about Graham. Why do you want to know? I think he might have been involved in something. What do you mean? I came to Union City from the Gap because I was investigating a mysterious... Oh, for Joey's sake, not you too. Blah, blah, conspiracy, blah, blah, giant dog. Graham was the perfect dog? husband until he started getting crazy ideas. Why couldn't he just have an affair like a normal person? Are you a collector? What? Toys. You have quite the collection. Oh, yes. The whole set of cuddly kiddies. Even the limited edition Mama Bear from five years back. Well, I did have the whole set, at least. Did something happen? Bartleby went missing, that's what. I asked Graham about it and he denied all knowledge. Then, when I tried to use the Mama Bear tracker to find dear Bartleby, he threw her across the room. Clumsy. Clumsy. Those bears were my engagement Something gift. Something hidden inside. He hid I Bartleby it. just to spite me. Graham had taken Songbird's toy Bilby, but I couldn't figure out what he'd have wanted with it. Oh, Wherever he'd easy. gone, Graham clearly didn't want to be tracked. What's a mama bear tracker? What do you think? It tracks her babies. Her babies? The cuddly kiddies. Most toys in Union City are tracker enabled. Lost toys mean screaming babies. Unless you got a tracker. Mind if I have a look at the tracker? Go ahead, though the screen is broken. Squeeze the left ear to turn it on. What does Bartley Bilby look like? Bartleby is a Bilby. Adorable, long ears. Like a bandicoot and a rabbit all rolled into one. At least he was before he went missing. Thanks. Hmm. Yeah, bye. It looked like Graham had taken Bartleby and didn't want it tracked. I had a hunch that he had taken it to Leet, but had no idea why. I strongly believe we have to find this toy. Mama Bear, can I turn you on? The device was now on, but with the screen broken, I'd need to find another way to get at the data. I wondered why Graham had taken a children's toy. Hello there. I'm Mama Bear. Hi. Mama Bear looks after all the cuddly kitties. And where are, you are looking they? For one of my children? I'm looking for Bartleby Bilby. Don't worry, child. Look at my tummy to find your missing friend. And it's not working because the screen is broken. Okay. But I have the scanner. Oh. And actually, I can hack a few things. Toy finder. Fireplace. Fireplace can find me a toy. No. Something definitely wrong here. Oh. Of course, holographic. Now, everything should be fine. Show me where it is. The plinth was showing the toy's tracking data. All I needed to do was locate the area code E1594. Find the tracker, find Leet. And <laughs> what is this area? That's weird. 
Hmm, objective didn't change. What is the hits? So I need a map and some patience. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. Good afternoon, sir. Do you know what E1594 might refer to? It's a city area code. Uh, referring to a few city blocks, I would imagine. Uh -huh. Which part of the city exactly, though? Uh, sir is confusing me with an android that gets out and about. You make it sound like you're a prisoner here. Sir's words, not mine. I suggest Master Graham seeks out a map. Chipworth yes. knew very little about the geography of the city. I'd need to find a map if I was to make headway. Do I know someone called Leet? I can neither confirm nor deny that, sir. Oh my god. Why is that? When Sir was shorter, and starter, it was made very clear that I was not to discuss such information with anyone, not even Sir himself. Okay... Do you know if I know someone called Leet? Excellent loophole, Sir. Yes, I do know with absolute certainty whether Sir knows someone called Leet. That's good enough for me. I need you to do something for me. Just say the word, Sir. Please, can you tidy up the apartment chip? Very good, sir. No, that was something else. I remember he don't want to do because there was a minister. I need you to do something for me. Maybe. Just say the word, sir. Laundry. Please, can you do the laundry, Chipworth? Excellent idea, sir. I'll have your coat cleaned in no time. Uh, on second thought, my coat's fine. As sir wishes. Not laundry, but I need you to do something for me. Just say the word, sir. Please, can you water the plants, Chipworth? Very good, sir. Okay, no. Map. We need a map. And there is whole minus terminal here. It's not it. No. I couldn't access Graham's messages. I added that to my list of things to look into. Okay. Stop watering Hello, the Chipworth. plants. Hello, Master Graham. I need you to do something for me. Just say the word, sir. Please, can you do the laundry chip? Very good, sir. And it's time for me to move on. I need to find some help terminal or maybe... I don't know, ask someone. And by the way, what is this thing with this pain? Looked like someone planned on doing some painting. The hold all was stained with paint. I must hug this robot, definitely. I don't know why and what it will do, but okay. With no hand scanners, I figured they were intended for droids. Oh. That's my old friend. And now what will it do? Hmm... 
I don't really what it all. Oh no! He was bitten by the water. Washing machine, what have you done? With no hand scanners, I figured they were intended for droids. And this all was for achievement. <laughs> really. I got an achievement. I don't chase achievements this time. Apologies, Citizen Graham. This is not your residence. I'll get lost. Ooh. Excuse me. Ah, Master Grundy. What joy to see Sir again after all this time. The poet laureate Reginald Arthur Schnipple Esquire sends his regards side. and all condolences him. as appropriate. How nice of you, Reginald. Correction, sir. If one may be so bold, Mr. Schnipple is of course Sir's human neighbor. How Sir might mistake yours truly, Tarquin, for our beloved poet laureate is beyond imagining. Maybe you can tell me Any about idea location? Where I might find a place called E1594. That sounds like an area code, and not one I would venture into. How so? It would be extremely inappropriate for a gentleman to visit Sector E. Sector E? What do you think about the graffiti? As an graffiti, artist, by the way. I find any a up. valid form of expression. Of course, the vandalism does somewhat detract from the piece. Who are you again? Tarquin. Fidelis Mark. So you're a servant? Servant, please. I am a highly engineered personal aide. Have you heard any reports of missing children? Why no, Master Graham. If anyone went missing, I'm sure AI Officer Greta would find their U chips. What if they were from outside the city? Well, surely AI Officer Greta would find them by their newly implanted U-chips. Fair enough. For all his poetry, Tarquin was still a Union City droid. See you later, Tarquin. Will I? Huh? It's just a phrase. Shall we schedule in another meeting? No. I don't think that's necessary. Such ambiguity. A tortured soul. Alas, I am inspired. Oh, that graffiti! <laughs> the seal had been vandalized. I don't see it. Poor Joey. And it's leading to this head. And where is this guy looking at? Uh oh, a paint. Damn it me. was a girl. A I knew situation. it. Very troubling indeed. Mentor, given your experience, your input here would be greatly appreciated. Oh, Mentor. Orana, isn't it? You strike me as a fine young officer of the Ministry of Well-Being. Would you say that's an accurate description? I'm flattered, sir. Your record is exemplary, I believe. I do my best, sir. I'm sure you do. So please, don't let me down. Fix this mess. Mess? You mean the girl? The whole untidy She has so much purpose. Yes, sir. <laughs> <girl>? Only my <laughs> cat have Keep more than him. Face. After all, it's aspiration day, isn't it? Lord, get the you. happiest day of the year. I'll take care of it, sir. I know oh, you will. such a sweet bird. By the way, a call to pest control no. wouldn't go amiss. I will kill you for that. Meanwhile, I shall isolate this area until this unfortunate incident has been resolved. Thank you, sir. I appreciate your advice. <laughs> We're all here to learn from each other. Take care now. <laughs> oh, bastard. Not birdies. I Miss, love them. Pardon me. You have to be this careful. This girl is just careful crazy. Or care less. <laughs> I know which one I want to be. Why don't you come down, yes? Miss Dijon. Is that right? Raquel Dijon. Yeah. 
That's... Me? I... Uh, I think... Raquel! Raquel? Did you say Raquel? You need to come down. What? Where am I? Oh, She's no, really help! mentally ill, I believe. Hearing her name had triggered a total change in the girl's behavior. I needed to find a way to get her down before she fell. Oh, let her fail. <laughs> it's not a problem. Oh, boy. Please stand back. Okay, let's try to talk to this girl. Are you okay? She was under no. some kind of hypnosis. I don't know how I got up here. Oh, just Raquel. jump. <laughs> Raquel Dijon. It's don't not panic. very high I'm here. I'm from the Ministry of Wellbeing. How can we help? Nothing to see here, sir. I suggest you go back inside and enjoy some screen-based entertainment. Excuse me. I'd like to make a complaint. Please, both of you. I'm a welfare officer. I know how to deal with this kind of problem. I just need to check the negotiation protocol. Well, thank goodness the Ministry is on this. It's all very distracting. How did okay. you get up there? I don't know! Please! I'm frightened! She climbed the outside of the building. Astounding agility, by the way. Most impressive! In a real I life, I'm really afraid of high, Bravo, by the miss. way. It's Sit tight. one and we'll maybe only phobia I have. Can you see any way down from there? No! And everything's wet now, thanks to that robot! Hold on! We'll work something out. Think you can Jump get on the robot on the when it passes? I, I could try. But, but what if... We'll catch you. You can do no, it. Nothing will happen. <laughs> she can. I'm Can't the you crazy try girl. and be more encouraging? You have a reasonably good eye for aesthetics. Thank you. Now, grab on tight. We'll be right underneath you. You'll be fine. Human grip strength is famously reliable. Only in short bursts. Okay, here goes. Commencing refill. Maybe I have to hack something? No. No, but maybe something like that. I don't know why as usual. But if I can, I must do it. Water refill complete. Hey, drone. Go up. Commencing Whoa. spray. Please stand back. Girl, jump on him. Water tank depleted. I don't get it. I definitely need to do something with this robot. This particular spot seemed popular with the local birds. My birdies. No, don't leave. I can't do this. From that height, the girl wouldn't fare much better than the cat. What is that? Control box. It was a hand scanner. Let's use it. I oh, plant water in. Water. Think you can get on the robot when it passes? I try. Okay, here goes. I must do something or what? Girl, just jump. Oh, 
refill level. But what can I do with it? Water refill complete. Oh yes, now I get it. I just hope that it will work. I need to get this girl down to the ground. Commencing spray, please stand back. Come on, robot, use all your water and water one more side. Depleted. And now you will have no water. At least I believe in it. And maybe not. Maybe everything I do is useless. And... Aha! Uh -huh, no water. Maybe now she can jump on it. Go, robot. Just go. Water refill complete. Nice. Cleaning robot. Oh, here it goes. At last. Actually, I spent 20 minutes here. How do you feel, Raquel? Are you okay? I... I don't know... She's never okay. Well, I'm glad that's all sorted. Shall I call a pod for her? I've got it from here, thank you. Raquel, what were you even doing up there? I, I don't know. She was hypnotized. I, I don't really remember... Mesmerized. Anything. The girl looked glad to be back on solid ground. Excuse me? Mr. Grundy! Oh, Mr. Mr. Grundy? Bravo, Mr. Grundy! Oh. <laughs> Your actions in this situation were sublime, albeit unconventional. The local noise levels have already returned to normal, and the building will soon sparkle again. I'm more concerned about the girl. Is she gonna be okay? Yes, yes, blah, blah, blah. And oh, all that. Good job, robot. Officer, I really like it. you say that Mr. Grundy's actions today warrant a kudos boost? Hmm? Of course. Thank you for the suggestion. Tarquin, miss. Orana. Orana Newblood. Yeah, like the guy said. Graham Grundy. Mr. Grundy? Does the location E1594 mean anything to you? Well, E1594? That's just an area code based on the old map system. Totally obsolete. That system hasn't been used for years. E1594 was an obsolete code. There had to be a way of finding that location. Oh, we will find it. I'm on the trail of a missing kid called Milo. I think he's somewhere in Union City. That shouldn't be difficult. Any greeter terminal will be able to find him via U-chip. No, that won't help. He was brought here from the Gap. That's not possible. I assure you. Where did you say you worked, Mr. Grundy? That'd be the Ministry of Comfort. I suggest you concentrate on your work and leave well-being issues to the appropriate ministry? So, do you work here? I'm an officer for the Ministry of Well-being. You often have to talk girls off high ledges? My first one. You did a good job. Thanks. Will she be in trouble for the graffiti? Well, no real harm done. The droid will clean us up, eventually. That said, her kudos rating will take a hit. All because she defaced Joey? People loved Joey, and what he did for us. Joey was my friend. We did so much together. Well, he might be gone, but he's not forgotten. You can find out about our savior at the Museum of New History. Museum? What is the Reflection Spa? What is the... Are you feeling okay, Graham? Everyone this side of the Industrial Level has heard of Reflections. 
Oh, you mean that reflection spa? It's been a long day. Next, you'll be asking me to tell you about this Joey guy. No, no, I'm familiar. You mentioned I could find out about Joey in a museum? Yes. The Museum of New History has exhibits about how he transformed the city. I'd recommend it to anyone who wants to learn about him and his legacy. A museum dedicated to Joey? He'd be proud of that for sure. Well, it's not all Joey. They have a special exhibit about the previous administration. Old technology, maps, that sort of thing. Old My technology, advice, though, maps, museum. To avoid the museum. Past. Does a museum anyway, go? Taking in some culture is good for you. Find it at the piazza if you get the chance. Raquel, is she always like that? What do you mean? Well, I met her earlier and she seemed like a totally different person. She's been through a big ordeal. Nothing that a trip to the reflection spa won't sort out. I guess I should get going. Yeah, well, thanks for your help. I suppose I should thank you too. No problem. No, no, no just Take go care. away. You too, I Mr. hope I will never see if you again. If you need any well-being support, just ask for me at Tegrita Terminal. Orana New Blood. Come on, Raquel. Let's get you to the spa. You'll be feeling better in no time. No Save need to worry, just Raquel. replace your brain. Now. Happy faces all round, right? In fact, this calls for a... a celebration. It is Aspiration Day, after all. Oh, goodness. Is it? All day. And you know what would be the best end to a day like this? A trip to the Reflection Spa. I'll pull a string or two. This and Reflection we'll get Spa is something bad, I think. I can only trust to this poetic robot and nobody else. But to museum we go. Why are we so complete? Are you I working? A map reference. E1594. Graham had put a tracker there. Maybe it was the key to finding his hacker friend Leet. But of course. Pod has been requested. Please wait for embarkation. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? The piazza is the place for me. It would be my pleasure, Citizen Graham. So friends, this will be the end of chapter 2. In the next chapter we will visit museum and maybe something else. We will see how story will continue. Thank you for watching and I hope I see you in my next video. See you friends.